everyone, it is Elmer and Kevin, and today we'll be running some more HO Scale model trains. So this is going to be one of three trains that we're running today. So we're going to start with this gravel train. Then we're going to run a manifest train with our original locomotive pulling it. And then we'll end with our largest locomotive pulling another manifest train. So an interesting thing about these locomotives is there's only one locomotive on this train. The one in the front is a locomotive, but the one in the back um, has its motor removed. So now it's just a piece of rolling stock, so it looks like you have two locomotives, but you only have one. So that's kind of a cool feature about this train. And um, we got these locomotives from a guy at a train show about a year ago, and they run very well. Here's the um, containers that we painted. Yeah, most we got a bunch of containers when we were little, but we didn't really know what they were for. But we figured out that if you took the stickers off them, painted them, and lettered them, they work really well for a fish scale container. And so I've been doing that a bunch. And so has Kevin. Mm -hmm. Yep, so this train is a uh, train, as you can see. And yeah, that's about it for this train. Also, if you look right in the center of the board, in between the two approaches on the one side, you can see the Dairy Queen that I painted. Right and I painted every single individual rock on there. I live together myself and everything. So yeah. Anyway, that is about it for this train. We're gonna do one more lap and then we're gonna put her away. So here we have the second train that we're running today which, like we said before, is being pulled by the original locomotive that we ever had. Yeah, so this was our very first locomotive. We got it at a train show, um, along with a couple other cars, including the one that was right behind it we got. Um, this locomotive has a different style of hitch than all of our other cars. So the car right behind it, on one end has one style of hitch and the other end has the other. So that way we can still pull our regular trains with this locomotive. So one end of the hitch, or the end of the hitch on that train car that's behind the locomotive looks like that. And the one that has the rest of the train behind it looks like that. So yeah, they're two very different designs. Um, they're two from completely different times. Um, they're both really good. Um, and they've both been very popular. Yes. So we'll just run this one for a couple more laps. Then we'll switch to the last train. is our biggest locomotive. It's our only one that has six axles in it total. All the rest of ours either only have two or four. Yeah, you can see. Um, it's quite long. Our corners, if they were any tighter, would probably derail. They're just barely wide enough. Or it can do the siding, but it not very well. It doesn't like a lot. And it does it because the wheels are so big. And the locomotive is so large. This locomotive never used 
used to run good, it always used to not even be able to do the corners or anything. It would just run inch and then it would stall out and it would not go well. And then one day after we'd had it for a while, to no success, I just got it out and Kevin helped me and we just cleaned the wheels really good. We cleaned the track a whole bunch and then we just ran it straight for 30 minutes and it started working good. And now it just runs great. Mm -hmm. So if you have a locomotive that won't run good or something, maybe it needs to, the motor needs to be cleaned or it has something wrong with it. But sometimes the you motor's just stuck. Just gotta run it and run it and run it some more. And then pretty soon it's run like one of the best out of all of our locomotives. So pretty nice. Well, now this is one of our smoothest locomotives, and before it couldn't even go three inches. One more lap. Well, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed this video and seeing our trains run. Please leave a like and subscribe, and we'll see you all next time. Bye!